And nobody tells you this, okay? It's not good, but I don't mean to scare you guys, but when you have a baby, you kind of hate your husband. <laughs> I mean, not just for like a lot. You really hate him. <laughs> Just in the beginning, you know, you're so full of hormones and it's so traumatic, it's so weird. And I mean, you could be married to Gandhi and you would just still just hate him. <laughs> like I remember breastfeeding our son in the middle of the night, just breastfeeding our kid at four in the morning, rocking, muttering to myself in the dark. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> Well, your career keeps going. <laughs> I'm stuck here breastfeeding this baby. Well, have fun in New York. That must be nice. <laughs> can I help you with anything? Yeah, you can grow a pair of tits. How about that? <laughs> but then it passes. It passes. And then you go back to normal, you know? And actually, I really like my husband. I, I like him, I love him. I don't know why people marry people they hate. <laughs> you can choose who you marry. This isn't India, just. <laughs> I love my husband. I laugh at his jokes. I think he's fantastic. And then all day, every day, I wanna punch him in his dumb face. <laughs> And it's not the big things that make you want to kill your spouse. It's little stuff. Little stuff. Like, why does he have to ask me where everything is? <laughs> All the time. In his own goddamn house. <laughs> like, I'm Carson the butler, and we live in Downton Abbey or something. <laughs> All day, on a loop. Where are the keys? Where's the dog? Where's the garage? <laughs> when we got married, we were so poor, we lived in a studio apartment. A studio apartment. And he had the nerve to ask me where stuff was. <laughs> Where's the spatula? I'm like, motherfucker. <laughs> Everything we own. <laughs> is out. Like what? <laughs> How lazy are you? <laughs> but I don't nag, don't nag. It falls on deaf ears. Do what I do. Use positive reinforcement. <laughs> positive. Like Caesar Milan. I use calm, assertive energies. <laughs> I am the buck leader. So when I see the behavior I'd like to see more of, I encourage it. <laughs> I'll see him doing something, I'll get up behind him, I'll be like, oh, oh, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> you loading up that dishwasher. Oh, you know clean dishes make me want to suck stuff. <laughs> but don't say that unless you mean it, cuz they'll come looking for payment quick. <laughs> and then you gotta be like, no, or whatever that's stupid. Well, no, because there's a small window where a woman will do that, you know what I mean? Like, in the beginning of the relationship, that's the best for a guy. That's blowjob season. <laughs> in the beginning, we're so thrilled to be there, we'll blow you for anything. <laughs> you got me tickets to the comedy show? <laughs> Six-piece McNuggets. <laughs> You open the car door for me. <laughs> and then you get married and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Honeymoon blowjob. No, we stopped serving that yesterday. <laughs>
Yeah, that ain't on the menu anymore, my man. <laughs> <laughs>